Here's a video of my 1968 Camaro SSRS 396 350 horse car with a lot of very unique and rare options. This car has the dog dish Copo type wheels. in excellent like new condition these are actually new old stock redline tires these aren't the reproduction they have such a little time on them they actually still have the inspection marks this car is in near concours condition. Be hard pressed to find one like this elsewhere without spending a whole lot of money. It would cost probably eighty or a hundred thousand to do a car like this. Notice the striping. Notice that the Rally Sport trim, which is unique for Rally Sport, has a whole different shape that runs along the door and kicks back at an angle. The Rally Sport trim. Another special option on this car is a vinyl top, which looks awesome with the Copa wheels. Blacked out tail pan RS backup lights. Sport rosewood sport wheel or walnut sport wheel, one of the two, whatever 68 was. This rosewood was maybe 69. Center console car. GM seat belts, interiors in really good condition. It's had new door panels since I've owned it. Seventy-seven. Can't probably can't see it. Seventy-seven thousand six hundred sixty-nine miles on the odometer. Which probably our original but I don't guarantee that. This car has, which so many of them don't, a spare tire, jack, spare jack, The courtesy light works in the trunk yet. Jacking and posi limited slip. Sticker for the 12 bolt rear end this car has. Rally Sport hood release is down in a hole under the bumper. You can see the paint on this car is very nice. This car is very straight. All the glass in this car appears to be original. It says, uh, little bit of dirt on it there but it says uh, M 
S or S5M solid tempered safety plate and then it has the AS2 which I believe is a date code I'd have to look that up same goes for the rear glass flow light solid tempered I don't know if you can see that same thing here the back windows roll up really nice in this car astro ventilation car power disc brakes doors and everything are in really nice condition in this car multi-leaf rear end both the uh, driver and passenger door glass also um, you know have codes on it solid tempered a s5 I believe it's, it's hard to read it because it looks backwards the way they put it on the glass here's one of the best parts this car has a numbers matching L34 350 horse 396 engine it has the correct part number exhaust manifolds uh, correct part number intake date coded to the car correct 215 heads date coded to the car and the assembly date of the build date of the car correct quadradet carburetor with the correct part number date coded to the car correct big four row big block radiator and shroud and five blade fan GM hoses and belts correct color on the master cylinder with the correct bathtub style master cylinder this car has the correct part number engine block date coded to the car with the correct Ford 6223 3.766 stroke crankshaft you probably won't be able to see this very easily here but on the front pad of the motor it has Tonawana T01 03 MR for the assembly date it's like January 3rd MR code is 350 horse 396 automatic turbo 400 car also has the 18N for Norwood 377-402 VIN in the block has the correct points distributor also with the correct part number date code of the car correct alternator the right part number date code of the car this car has window washer squirter options um, the turbo 400 transmission has the correct uh, tag on it yellow tag I believe it says CE on the tag it also has the same VIN like the engine block in the turbo 400 transmission and uh, the tag has the date code on it all that good stuff on the side of the turbo 400 transmission the I believe as far as production for L34 350 horse 396 I believe there are only 2,006 or 2,700 under 3,000 
um, L34s and the the records produced, and there were I think over 4,000 L78 375 cars. So um, with the the wheels on this car, the Rally Sport and SS dual package, the vinyl top, the council. Sport wheel, power steering car, all these things make this a very desirable car. This car was assembled in Norwood, O1C January 3rd week. 1968 and it has a code U2 from Le Mans Blue. Car has the insulation snaps in the hood like it would have come from GM with the right color hinges. for the hood and the latch has the right clips like GM used right radiator cap this motor has the correct TR I don't know if you can see it but TR marked valve cover bolts, the correct square screen, air, air filter element, and the correct air cleaner, the correct propeller markings on the intake bolts, Emissions decal correct. The lines on this car as far as the the gaps and the hood door fit bugs landing on it. door gaps, trunk line. This is also a rear spoiler car and has rear bumper guards, which is pretty neat looking. As you can see, all the gaps on the, the metal. Just a really phenomenal car. I saw it make them in Indianapolis a couple weeks ago. These cars were bringing 55. Some of them, like Cross Ram Z28, 69 cars were bringing over $100,000. Don't have, uh, you know, overspray on the door latches like so many of them do. The rocker paint lines are cut in correctly like they came from GM for the Rally Sports. We're all blacked out there. So you can see the quality of the paint on the dash and everything. Dome light works just like the trunk light horn works on this car door shut nice and crisp you don't have to try to slam them the bushings and pins feel really nice just open and shut crisp like the uh, rubbers on this car are really good you 
can see here on the quarter panels they're stamping looks like a uh, YH maybe date codes in there on the quarter panels all the blackout cut in correctly Turn signals work on this car, and uh, the uh, heat works, and the blower motor works. Windshield wipers work. The underside of this car is awesome. It's uh, all painted and detailed underneath. This car at one time, before I bought it, appears had a body off restoration. Had uh, floors put in, I think a trunk pan, and but I think it's always been car that's been cared for. I know I've taken care of it. Package tray. Up in the rear seat and all that is nice. And now I'll start the car up for you. Pause the video for a moment. So you can see GM seat belts in very good condition. Click into the center console. It's starting to get dark. Um, the fuel gauge in this car works see the turn signals this engine was just put back uh, this engine was just put in this car totally gone through and rebuilt rings, bearings, cam lifters. It's got a nice sound to it. Forge pistons. See how the got good compression blows the grass. Transmission was majorly serviced. The governor was serviced. Shift modulator valve was changed filter changed in it since I've had it. Been all tuned with around 10, 12 degrees idle timing. So it shuts off nicely and starts nicely. I uh, broke the cam in with Lucas Zinc. Has a driver and passenger mirror option, which is nice. But as you can see, it uh, definitely sounds nice through the pipes. And no ticky noise or anything like that in the motor. The valves seem to be set real nice with the preload on the lifters. Pop the hood one more time.
I suspect that like the glass with the codes on it and everything, I haven't decoded them, but seat belts and the glass probably probably are original to the car, but I don't I don't guarantee anything born original to the car. It's too old, it's fifty years old or more. But it's definitely a correct numbers matching engine and transmission, 12 bolt rear and multi-leaf car. It was represented to me as a true SS when I bought it. I have some NCRS uh, documentation to what zone and dealership it was delivered to when it was new. Um, but uh, here you have it, 68 L34 396 big block car, RS SS with a lot of really special options. This should be a one to put up for 10 or 20 years and some should be a very good investment. I don't think uh, whoever buys this car, if I sell it, is going to be disappointed in the quality of the car. I've had a lot of muscle cars and this one is definitely one of the nicer ones all the way around. Well, that's it. I'm going to stop the video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can call me at area code 260-665-1633 or you can email me jerry at sagperformance.com that's Jerry at S like Sam, A like Apple, G like George, performance.com.